asking for a friend on the Morning Hustle. Morning Hustle, we asking for a friend. What's up, Erica? Hey. Talk to us, man. What brings you to the Hustlers right now? So, my friend, um, really good friend, uh, he just had a baby, and I'm pretty sure the baby is not his. Woo! Wow. Now, this is spicy. You spilling tea. How do you know? Um, well, okay, first, I want to say, like, the baby is super cute, okay? He's three months old. I just met his best friend, okay? His best friend just came around, and the minute I saw his best friend holding the baby, I just knew it. I had a feeling in my gut, okay? The baby looks just like him. Like, I know guys don't usually pick up on whether a baby looks like them or not, but, you know, this, his girlfriend keeps saying, you know, oh, like, to my friend, oh, the baby has your eyes, he has your smile, like, look at his, like, look at his cute little, like, ears, and, and I just think she is full of crap okay she knows that the baby looks like my friend's best friend okay all right i my boyfriend says to just stay out of it like it's none of our business don't tell him what i think but i just wanted to ask you guys should i tell him like should i talk to my friend and and just tell him what i believe is true Mm. and and possibly like blow up his entire life but, yo, the crazy thing is, like, in the small percentage of a fact that you might be wrong, what if that all blew up in your face? If your friend is lying about who the baby really belongs to, you got to let them two burn up in that car together. I, I, I know, but, like, like, I don't like my friend being played, though. Do you get along with the girl? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's not even going to make it any better. <laughs> like, she's, she's, okay, she's gorgeous, okay? Like, she looks good. But, like, she's just known to date a lot before she got with my friend. So I don't trust her. Was there any rumors about uh, the best friend and her before? Or is this just you thinking this? Well, I know she's been around the block. And then I know my friend's best friend. Like, he's known to be, you know, like a, you know, a ladies man, you know. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So I put two and two together. Okay. And I don't trust them. I don't know, because you know, y'all know that Jim Jones and Cameron son, I think it's Jim Jones' son that looks like Cameron. Y'all seen that? Nah. Yeah, he looks just like Cameron, and people used to joke on the internet, but that's really Jim Jones' son. So maybe it's just like when you around somebody a lot, like a dog, they start to look like you. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. I My friend's best friend held the baby, and it was exactly alike. Like nah, they man, exactly I gotta be alike. his kid because who just picking up random babies? Yeah, especially babies that are not yours as a guy because we feel like, ah, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna break the baby or like, you know what, we don't really try to get attached to kids that are that young, first of all. Did he say dada when he picked him up? <laughs> no. <laughs> but then maybe it's not his son. Some, and sometimes babies be knowing too, they'll latch on to somebody where they feel that energy is right. It's like, like yo, this feels familiar. Yeah. Like we got similar DNA or something like that. But uh, yo, hustlers, what say y'all, man? If you was in Erica's shoes, would you say something about it with the slight possibility of you being wrong? Or would you blow the spot up? Because it's the right thing to do. Her boyfriend told her mind her business. Hi, I'm, I'm my name's Jessica. I'm in Chattanooga. Uh, I really think she should probably mind her business about that. Like, um, she doesn't really know this woman that well. She's just basing it off of, you know, previous, you know, people change. She might be in the right spot. And like what you said, you really don't know. And if you have a boy that, a guy that is, you know, just likes to pick up kids, that they don't make it his father, you know. There's lots of people that step in that role. And, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, so... <laughs> You never know, and really, it's not her business, so. It's right, not her man. business at all, and she out here judging people and stirring the pot. She needs to leave it alone. Yeah, especially when you consider that certain, like, traits skip generations sometimes. Like, I've seen, like, the darkest people have not dark children. You know what I mean? It just happens sometimes. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to really understand that science. But if you're in a situation where your friend had a baby and you don't think the baby is theirs, what would you do? Would you say something? Or would you just, uh, you know, mind your business and just let it rock? 866-Hustle-8. Good morning. Yeah, man, I'm calling from Savannah. Look, Erica's doing the right thing because guess what? Some of these men really do be in the blind. And the females just be playing them wanting somebody to take care of their kids. And I think that DNA tests should be mandatory at birth because of reasons like this. I do agree with that. Mm. Like, off the rip, I 
because a lot of people are raising kids that is not theirs, low. And would you be cool with like having sure. to administer a DNA test off rip? I mean, I, if it's something that is in the hospital, but if not, I would be offended. Like, what do you think that I have going on here? Like, you don't think the child is yours? Like, I think that that also causes a lot of problems. And I feel like she ain't gonna have no friends after she, if she decides to reveal what she feels to them. Right. And even if she's wrong, right? Like, let's just say you jump out the window and you're wrong. That's a bad situation. But on the hospital side of things, because sometimes babies get mixed up in the hospital and the maternity ward. I say this in air quotes, right? So it's not necessarily to prove that the kid is theirs, but just to make sure you're leaving with the right child. Or maybe yeah. not. Don't, 866 yeah. late. Good morning. Don't touch my child. <laughs> My name's Nicole. I'm calling from Montgomery, Alabama. Erica should mind her business. People look familiar. She has no proof, no evidence. She's just looking at a baby, and baby changed the way it looks. If she tells and she's wrong, everybody's going to hate her. She just is my own business. And, you know, and it is a lot easier to, like, DNA test people than it's been before. You can just swab the baby mouth, swab the dude mouth, and then you'll get results, like, in, like, a couple hours, man. So, you know, technology is really caught up with itself. Good morning. This is Kiana from Kokomo. Um, I think she should say something to him and let him have this. Or, or, crack a, or crack a joke or something like friends. Don't that look like um, friends soon? <laughs> Sometimes you got to you gotta throw a little joke in there, but I think she should do that, but... Other than that, she should mind her business. Like you said, let them burn it together. I don't know. That crack a joke thing, man, that, that could backfire pretty bad, especially if it turns out that she's right. That's a big joke. <laughs> Joke's on you, Joke Jack. on you. <laughs> Good morning. She needs to buy her business. Right. <laughs> Cause I, no, cause my um, I got three kids by the same guy. My middle child don't look like me or the father, okay. but I still did DNA test. If she a him, it just don't look like me or her. I mean, or him. So she <laughs> and, that, and that happens. It's part of the whole like, scientific process. So, like on the worst, you know, on the worst side of things, right? Like, was there anybody in your inner circle that felt a certain way about that middle child not looking like you or your your baby father? No, but my best friend had an issue with her her baby dad, and they went through hell. So I didn't want to go through it. Plus, no one's gonna tell you that. Like they'll probably say it behind your back, like this lady's doing, but they're not gonna say to your face, mm, "That might not be your baby father's child because he don't look like neither one of y'all." Mm-hmm. And that's why I did it because I don't even want the drama or the negativity. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people out there taking their kids to go get Happy Meals when they should have just made them a sandwich from scratch. Just saying, could save some money. You know, I, I think the DNA testing at the hospital, I think that might be the best future play. So everybody's on the same page. But, you know, we can unpack this a little bit more later on this morning. We, we are the morning hustle.